Welcome to Nzalamba Artworks Mini Gallery, Virtual Gallery, actually. <laughs> well, my name is Lungala Rubadiri, co-artist alongside Paul Nzalamba, artist, and we're based here in Los Angeles, California. Uh, we do batik art, which is uh, an original here is right behind me. It's done on fabric, cotton fabric, and all the colors are actually dyes immersed into the fabric and saturated therein. And what we use is wax as a resist. So once an original is done, we can make uh, lithos or archival prints, such as you see on the walls here. And the largest size is 36 by 48 inches. We also have medium sizes of those, which are 20 by 24. And then the smaller sizes, which is uh, 16 by 20. And these are all signed as well. Uh, the issue here is that we are trying to portray universal themes family, friendship, love, happiness. It's all portrayed in Ugandan art form style, but the messages are always universal. And I'll go through a few of the uh, illustrations of the stories just to give you an idea. And uh, it's a short video here, so I'll go rather quickly, but you can always see a lot more of these on our website, which I'm going to give you in a minute. Uh, this image here kicks off the mother and child series. And this is a mother and child looking to the future, lots of flowers on the skirt. The child has real ones, given love, children see a more beautiful vision of life. That child has to be encouraged to reach for their dreams in life. And as she lifts up, she encourages the child. The child is learning to trust. A lot of people will get these as a form of a triptych because this third one I'm going to add to the group here shortly is when the child is old enough, the parent then lets go. And you'll notice in this third picture, the child actually has a hat like the parent to show the child is grown up. So a lot of people will use these three as a triptych. And um, ongoing, you know, the series, we have this one, which shows a parent whose love is so much in her heart. How does she get to love any more children after she has more children? But her thoughts and heart will lie as the foundation of every child or generation. So this illustrates that ongoing love even through the generations. This one that follows is one that um, is actually framed on the easel here behind me. And this in my hands is the unframed version. This is the 16 by 20, of course. In this, all the drums are very colorful, but he's only chosen to play the two that perfectly match his hat. And the illustration here is that in life, we are all drummers looking for our song. And when you found your drums, it's up to you to play them. You have found your purpose in life. Figuring out life is one thing and learning to live life with someone else is another. And in this one, it's a love story, a wonderful love story representing how love brings people from different paths. And as you walk together, you learn each other's strengths and weaknesses, letting go the past, the sun shines on the future that they share. And even when they have difficult days, they go to what looks like a tree but this tree represents their love and their love is so deep, it's grown into a shelter for both of them. So even when you have disagreements, lean on that love that grows to keep you sheltered. That uh, disagreement that you may have may be just a visitor along the journey of growing love. Walk with love. It's a beautiful thing. And then this one here is illustrating the western hills of Uganda during the dry season yellow when it rains green. Among the many crops grown, this is corn, millet, and string beans. The message being, never worry when times are tough. Seasons come and go, but the sun will always shine again. Picture of hope. And last but not least, this one is called The Story. Shows a lady telling a story to two others. One is rather fancy here in the middle. One is rather plain. We all have a story in our heart. And such as she does, we ought to open up who we are. We might touch other lives and their lives may change ours. Friendships sometimes show up in places we would least expect it. So thank you so much for joining us. And um, definitely you can hear more of these stories by contacting us directly. You can also go to our website. And that website is on this little card here, which you will zoom into. And you can see that is Nzalamba Artworks, nzalamba-artworks.com. And you can also um, go to the virtual show that this video has been shown on and contact us through there. We'll be seeing you soon. Take care, enjoy, and be safe and healthy.